Bergman's rule is a biological principle that holds that animals found in cold climates tend to be larger than their close relatives found in warmer climates. Like the emperor penguin of Antarctica is the largest and heaviest penguin. It can be 4 foot 9 and weigh almost 100 pounds. Meanwhile, the Galapagos penguins that live on the equator are only like 20 inches tall and weigh some 8 pounds. You can also see Bergman's rule in foxes, mountain lions, white-tailed deer, and a bunch of other animals. Like this chart here compares the body mass of an average moose found at different latitudes in Sweden. And of course, the polar bear is the biggest living bear. But the smallest living bear is the sun bear that lives in Southeast Asia. Allen's rule is a similar biological rule. It says that animals in cold climates are generally rounder and more stockier and have thicker limbs and appendages. Like this arctic hare is shaped like a little round snowball with little ears for a rabbit. Meanwhile, look at the size and length of this desert jackrabbit's ears and legs. One of the most popular explanations for both of these phenomenons is that an animal's size and shape affects its surface area to volume ratio. Because as a shape grows in size, its volume increases way faster than its surface area. And that surface area to volume ratio is important for an animal's thermoregulation. So a large animal has less surface area than an equally scaled smaller animal. So it will lose less heat to the environment than the smaller animal. Part of the why small people tend to be and feel colder than larger people. And then that effect is even more effectuous when you got Allen's rule stretching out animals' limbs like their last name is Armstrong. But both of these rules have exceptions and detractors. Another interesting thing about Allen's rule is that researchers at Pennsylvania State figured out that temperature affects how fast cartilage grows. They raised mice in hot, warm, and cold environments and measured the length of their ears and tails. And the ears and tails of mice raised in the cold were significantly shorter than the ears and tails of mice raised in the heat, even though their body mass was about the same. And when they grew bones in different temperatures, they found that bones that grew in warmth had significantly more cartridge than bones that grew in the cold.